Hello viewers, hello once more, welcome to our channel. In today's presentation, we are looking at GCE Advanced Level Pure Math with Statistics Paper 3, June 2023 Corrections. Please make sure you watch this video till the end. Welcome once more to our channel. Make sure that you click on the subscribe button to encourage us to make more videos. Click share like and comment on our videos so that you motivate us to do more let's take the first question of the day two events a and b are such that the probability of a is two thirds probability of a union b is three quarters uh, probability of a intersection b is five on twelve find a the probability of b b the probability of A given B and C, the probability of B uh, intersection A prime. So in this question, for the first part, to find the probability of B, we know from the law of probabilities, the third law, that the probability of A intersection B is equal to probability of A plus probability of B minus probability of A union B. We can make probability of B the subject of this formula as follows. To obtain probability of B equals probability of A intersection B plus probability of A union B minus probability of A. When we now substitute our values, that is 5 on 12 plus 3 on 4 minus 2 on 3, we obtain a half as the solution. Now for the B part, the probability of A given B is given as probability of A intersection B, all that on probability of B. And this will just be equal to 5 on 12 divided by a half. Since we already have probability of B and we know the probability of A intersection B. So the result here is 5 on 6. So with these two parts already, you have already scored 5 marks. Uh, sub 1, the C part of sub 1 reads, find the probability of A intersection of B intersection A prime. And here, we can obtain the probability of B intersection A prime as follows. So if you have to sketch this out, uh, using a small sketch down here, we will have uh, this box as follows, where we have the probability of A and the probability of A in these boxes. We have the box A and we have the box B. So the probability of B intersection A prime can be given as the probability of B minus the probability of A intersection B. So uh, A prime means outside A. And if you look at it critically, you start the region we are left with is just this uh, small region here, which is given by the probability of B minus the probability of A intersection B. So this is going to give us a half minus 5 on 12, which is equal to 1 on 12. Now, the sub 2 of this question reads, a manufacturer of phones employs a, um, an inspector to check the qualities of his products. After testing a large sample from a consignment, the inspector finds out that 2 out of every 10 phones are defective. A customer buys 2 of such phones. Calculate the probability that uh, C, uh, D, both phones are defective, and E, exactly one phone is defective. Now, uh, from this question, we have been told two out of every ten phones. This brings us the idea of what? A binomial. Because we are now being told that two of such phones are selected. So the wrong approach should be that students might want to use a tree diagram as follows to model this. This is going to be a very difficult approach. So you have to understand that this is a binomial. So figure out that this is a binomial where the probability of having a defective phone is 2 over 10 or 0 0.2 and the number of phones selected is 2. So x follows a binomial with parameters 2 and 0 0.2. So for both phones being defective, it means the first is defective and the second is defective. So this is going to give us probability of x equals 1 plus probability of x equals 2. That's going to give us selecting 1 from 2, 0 0.2 to the power 1, 0 0.8 to the power 1, plus selecting 2 from 2, probability of defective uh, 2 to the power 2, and not defective 0.8 to the power 0. When we simplify this, we are going to have 0 0.36. Now, the second part says that exactly one phone is defective. 
Exactly one for intensity just means probability of x equals one for the binomial. So we are selecting one from two, and this will give us uh, one from two times the probability of 0 0.2 to the power one times 0 0.8 to the power one. And this gives us 0 0.32. If this is your first time to this channel, please make sure that you subscribe so that you have more videos. Some of our videos cannot be seen by those who have not yet subscribed. So make sure that you subscribe. We are calling begging on you to share and love our videos so that you motivate us to do more. If you need a complete solution to this video, why not go to our website or send us a message from the link below where we can send the complete package to you from 2015 or 2014 to 2023 as we prepare for your GC. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe, to like and to share. Ciao! The next question is question 2.